In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an array and then some of the methods and properties associated with arrays. Arrays are objects, and that's a little bit of the confusion with JavaScript is that basically everything is an object. Um, what, what an array is, is that it contains a list of values that has an index. And so each uh, key in an array uh, is indexed by a number. And it starts from zero and then goes up from there. So let's take a look at how to create one. Okay, come in here on line 12 and you just create a variable. And in this case, my name will be array. Now there's a few different ways to create an array. One way is to use a constructor method and that's with the new keyword. And then you use the array object to now create uh, a new object based on this array um, using the constructor method. This new array object will be called my array. And if I were to do an alert on this, my array, it would actually have what? Do you think it would be undefined or blank or null? And if we actually check it out, let's open that up in Firefox we'll see that it's a blank. So it's neither undefined or null. Uh, it actually does contain data, just it has no data to show. So that's a little bit off. Let's do a type of my array and just see what it says. Is it gonna say array, uh, integer, a string or object or what have you? Let's, let's check it out. So I'll do a refresh on that and it's an object. So just as I said at the start of this tutorial, Arrays are objects. So let's actually add some data to this array. And come on in here and we'll type um, a couple different colors in here, red, green, and 12. So that's just to demonstrate that an array can contain both strings as well as numbers as Boolean. So it can, have a, it can have a mix of, of data types. Interestingly enough, an array can also contain other arrays. It can also contain uh, object literals um, inside of it. So, but whatever's in there is gonna be separated by the commas and then you would refer to it with the index. So for example, let's say that I wanted to show the first item in the array, which would be red. Uh, in order to um, retrieve that, I need to reference it with the index of zero, and that's gonna be with opening bracket, zero, closing bracket. That references index value of zero, and just remember, it's a little confusing at first, but it starts counting from zero, the second item is one, and the third item, in this case, would be 12. If I save that up, and now show it, should have red. Okay, so there's our string value of red. Okay, if you change that to a two, then it'd be zero, one, two. We should now have a index value of 12. And I did not save it. Let me uh, come back here and actually refresh it. There we go, there's 12. Okay, so that's a way to create an array by using that constructor and it's using the new keyword um, to do so. Uh, the other way to create an array is known as a uh, an array literal, and that's just opening and closing brackets. So it's variable, in this case, my array, and then the opening and closing bracket. And then if I were to do an alert on that, it would just be a blank. But let's actually add some data. I'm gonna add the name of uh, states that people might live in. And let me give that a quote, and then I add one more after this. And then we'll say Nevada. Okay, so some possible states that people might live in. Once again, to retrieve this, I just use an alert. And if I were to do my, my array zero, we'd get Washington. Let's do my array um, zero, one, two, three. Let's do three. And so you try and figure out which one that will give us. That's gonna give us Nevada. It'll be the last item because we have zero, one, two, three for Nevada. Now, 
The other thing you can do is you can add items to an array by using this method called push. So I'll use my array dot push and we add a value in here. So I'll go ahead and add the, the uh, value of Oregon. So now the item, the, the array will contain five items, Washington, Florida, Maine, Nevada, and Oregon. So if we come down here and now do an alert on my array and four, and let me just double check this here. Well, actually we'll just do the alert. We'll just make sure it's gonna work. It'll be Oregon. So zero, one, two, three, four. All right. Now, uh, the last thing that I'll show you is just what if you do an alert on something that doesn't exist? Um, because even though there's five, there's, there's five unique items, the index value doesn't go up to five and only goes up to four. So what will we get if we do my array five? In this case, since that doesn't actually exist, in that case, we would actually have an undefined. All right, I'll show you a little bit more in the next tutorial.